A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban, and I will be your guide in this video. If you are new in my channel, don't forget to subscribe, and hit the notification bell, to be updated in my videos. This time our topic is a, review notes in criminal sociology, ethics and human relations, part 2. Be ready as we start, learn and enjoy our topic for today. Be safe, and God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5 Theories of Crime and the Pioneers Pre-Classical Era The Demonological Theory, before the development of more scientific theories of criminal behavior, one of the most popular explanations was Demonology, Hagen, 1990. According to this explanation individuals were thought to be possessed by good or evil spirits, which caused good or evil behavior. The theory maintains that criminal behavior was believed to be the result of evil spirits and demons something of natural force that controls his slash her behavior. Centuries ago, guilt and innocence were established by a variety of procedures that presumably called forth the supernatural allies of the accused. The accused were innocent if they could survive an ordeal, or if miraculous signs appeared. They were guilty if they died at stake, or if omens were associated with them, Bartle, 1995. Harsh punishments were also given. Pre-20th Century Theories, 18th C, 1738-1798 In the 18th century, criminological literature, whether psychological, sociological, or psychiatric in bent, has traditionally been divided into three broad schools of thought about the causes of crime, the classical, neoclassical, and the positivist schools of criminology. The Classical School of Criminology This is the school of thought advocated by Cesare Beccaria whose real name is Cesare Bonsera Marchese de Beccaria together with Jeremy Bentham, 1823, who proposed utilitarian hedonism, the theory, which explains that a person always acts in such a way as to seek pleasure and avoid pain. Cesare Beccaria in his essay on crimes and punishment presented his key ideas on the abolition of torture as a legitimate means of extracting confessions. The classical theory maintains that man is essentially a moral creature with absolute free will to choose between good and evil therefore tress is placed upon the criminal himself, that every man is responsible for his act. Free will, Beccaria, a philosophy advocating punishment severe enough for people to choose, to avoid criminal acts. It includes the belief that a certain criminal act warrants a certain punishment without any punishment without any variation. Hedonism, Bentham, the belief that people choose pleasure and avoid pain.
The Neoclassical School of Criminology The Neoclassical School of Criminology argued that situations or circumstances that made it impossible to exercise free will are reasons to exempt the accused from conviction. This school of thought maintains that while the classical doctrine is correct in general, it should be modified in certain details, that children and lunatics should not be regarded as criminals and free from punishment, it must take into account certain mitigating circumstances. The Positivist Slash Italian School, 1838 to 1909. It maintained that crime as any other act is a natural phenomenon and is comparable to disaster or calamity. That crime as a social and moral phenomenon which cannot be treated and checked by the imposition of punishment but rather rehabilitation or the enforcement of individual measures. Cesare Lomrasso and his two students, Enrico Ferri and Raphael Garofalo advocated this school. Cesare Lomrasso, 1836-1909, the Italian leader of the positivist school of criminology, was criticized for his methodology and his attention to the biological characteristics of offenders, but his emphasis on the need to study offenders scientifically earned him the father of modern criminology. His major contribution is the development of a scientific approach to the study of criminal behavior and to reform the criminal law. He wrote the essay entitled Crime, its causes and remedies that contains his key ideas and the classifications of criminals. Classifications of criminals by Lomrasso. One born criminals, there are born criminals according to Lomrasso, the belief that being criminal behavior is inherited. Two criminal by passion, are individuals who are easily influenced by great emotions like fit of anger. Three insane criminals, are those who commit crime due to abnormalities or psychological disorders. They should be exempted from criminal liability. Four criminaloid, a person who commits crime due to less physical stamina slash self-control. Five occasional criminal, are those who commit crime due to insignificant reasons that pushed them to do at a given occasion. Six pseudo-criminals, are those who kill in self-defense. Enrico Ferri, 1856-1929, he was the best-known Lombroso's associate. His greatest contribution was his attack on the classical doctrine of free will, which argued that criminals should be held morally responsible for their crimes because they must have made a rational decision to commit the crime. Raffaele Garofalo, 1852-1934, another follower of Lomrasso, an Italian nobleman, magistrate, senator, and professor of law. Like Lomrasso and Ferry, he rejected the doctrine of free will and supported the position that the only way to understand crime was to study it by scientific methods. Influenced on Lombroso's theory of atavistic stigmata, 
man's inferior slash animalistic behavior, he traced the roots of criminal behavior not to physical features but to their psychological equivalents, which he called moral anomalies. The classical and positivist school compared. Classical school. Legal definition of crime. Punishment fit the crime. Doctrine of free will. Death penalty allowed. No empirical research. Definite sentence. Positivist school. No to legal definition. Punishment fit the criminal. Doctrine of determinism. Abolition of death penalty. Inductive method. Indeterminate sentence. Early 20th century theories. One David Emile Durkheim. French, 1858 to 1917, he advocated the anime theory, the theory that focused on the sociological point of the positivist school, which explains that the absence of norms in a society provides a setting conductive to crimes and other antisocial acts. According to him, the explanation of human conduct lies not in the individual but in the group and the social organization. To Sigmund Freud, 1856 to 1969, psychologists have considered a variety of possibilities to account for individual differences, defective conscience, emotional immaturity, inadequate childhood socialization, maternal deprivation, and poor moral development. The Freudian view on criminal behavior was based on the use of psychology in explaining an approach in understanding criminal behavior, the foundation of the psychoanalytical theory. Robert Ezra Park, 1864-1944, Park is a strong advocate of the scientific method in explaining criminality but he is a sociologist. He advocated the human ecology theory. Human ecology is the study of the interrelationship of people and their environment. This theory maintains that crime is a function of social change that occurs along with environmental change. It also maintains that the isolation, segregation, competition, conflict, social contract, interaction, and social hierarchy of people are the major influences of criminal behavior and crimes. Middle 20th century. One Ernest Kritchmer, 1888 to 1964, the idea of somatotyping was originated from the work of a German psychiatrist, Ernest Kritchmer, who distinguished three principal types of physique as aesthetic, lean, slightly built, narrow shoulders. Be athletic, medium to tall, strong, muscular, coarse bones. See picnic, medium height, rounded figure, massive neck, broad face. 
Kritschmer related these body physique to various psychotic behavioral patterns, picnic to manic depression, asthenics, and athletics to schizophrenia. To William H. Sheldon, 1898-1977, Sheldon is an influence of the somatotype school of criminology, which related body built to behavior. He became popular of his own somatotyping theory. His key ideas are concentrated on the principle of survival of the fittest as a behavioral science. He combines the biological and psychological explanation to understand deviant behavior. Sheldon's somatotyping theory maintains the belief of inheritance as the primary determinants of behavior and the physique is a reliable indicator of personality. Classification of body physique by Sheldon. A endomorphy, a type with relatively predominance of soft, roundness throughout the regions of the body. They have low specific gravity. Persons with typically relaxed and comfortable disposition. B. Mesomorphy, athletic type, predominance of muscle, bone, and connective tissue, normally heavy, hard and firm, sting and tough. They are the people who are routinely active and aggressive, and they are the most likely to commit crimes. C. Ectomorphy, thin physique, flat chest, delicacy through the body, slender, poorly muscled. They tend to look more fatigued and withdrawn.
3 Edwin Sutherland, 1883-1950, Sutherland has been referred to as the most important criminologist of the 20th century because his explanation about crime and criminal behavior can be seen as a corrected extension of social perspective. For this reason, he was considered as the dean of modern criminology. He said that crime is learned and not inherited. He advocated the dead, differential association theory, which maintained that the society is composed of different group organization, the societies consist of a group of people having criminalistic tradition and anti-criminalistic tradition. And that criminal behavior is learned and not inherited. It is learned through the process of communication, and learning process includes technique of committing the crime, motive, and attitude. For Walter Reckless, 1899-1988, the containment theory assumes that for every individual there exists a containing external structure and a protective internal structure, both of which provide defense, protection, or insulation against crime or delinquency. According to Reckless, the outer structure of an individual are the external pressures such as poverty, unemployment, and blocked opportunities while the inner containment refers to the person's self-control ensured by strong ego, good self-image, well-developed conscience, high frustration tolerance and high sense of responsibility. Adler, 1995 5 Karl Marx, Frederick Engel, Willem Bonger, 1818-1940, they are the proponents of the social class conflict and capitalism theory. Marx and Engel claim that the ruling class in a capitalist society is responsible for the creation of criminal law and their ideological basis in the interpretation and enforcement of the laws. All are reflected in the ruling class, thus crime and delinquency are reflected on the demoralized surplus of population, which is made up of the underprivileged usually the unemployed and underemployed. Willem Bonger, a Marxist socialist, on the other hand, placed more emphasis on working about crimes of economic gain. He believes that profit motive of capitalism generates an egoistic personality. Hence, crime is an inevitable outcome. late 20th century, the contemporary pioneers. 1. Robert King Merton, 1910, Robert Merton is the premier sociologist of the modern days who, after Durkheim, also related the crime problem to anime. He advocated the strain theory, which maintains that the failure of man to achieve a higher status of life caused them to commit crimes in order for that status slash goal to be attained. He argued that crime is a means to achieve goals and the social structure is the root of the crime problem. Merton's explanation to criminal behavior assumes that people are law-abiding but when under great pressure will result to crime.
To Albert Cohen, 1918, he advocated the subculture theory of delinquency. Cohen claims that the lower class cannot socialize effectively as the middle class in what is considered appropriate middle class behavior. Thus, the lower class gathered together share their common problems, forming a subculture that rejects middle class values. Cohen called this process as reaction formation. Much of this behavior comes to be called delinquent behavior, the subculture is called a gang and the kids are called delinquents. He put emphasis on the explanation of prevalence, origins, process, and purposes as factors to crime. Three Gresham Sykes, 1922, he advocated the neutralization theory. It maintains that an individual will obey or disobey societal rules depending upon his or her ability to rationalize whether he is protected from hurt or destruction. People become law-abiding if they feel they are benefited by it and they violate it if these laws are not favorable to them. For Lloyd Olin, 1928, he advocated the dot, differential opportunity theory. This theory explained that society leads the lower class to want things and society does things to people. He claimed that there is differential opportunity, or access, to success goals by both legitimate and illegitimate means depending on the specific location of the individual within the social structure. Thus. Lower class groups are provided with greater opportunities for the acquisition of deviant acts. Five Frank Tenenbaum, Edwin Lemmert. Howard Becker, 1822-1982, they are the advocates of the labeling theory, the theory that explains about social reaction to behavior. The theory maintains that the original cause of crime cannot be known, no behavior is intrinsically criminal, behavior becomes criminal if it is labeled as such. Six Earl Richard Quinney, 1934, he was a Marxist criminologist who advocated the instrumentalist theory of capitalist rule. He argued that the state exists as a device for controlling the exploited class, the class that labors for the benefit of the ruling class. He claims that upper classes create laws that protect their interest and t the same time the unwanted behavior of all other members of society. Quinney's major contribution is that he proposed the shift in focus from looking for the causes of crime from the individual to the examination of the criminal justice system for clues. Other theorists. One Charles Darwin's theory, 1809 to 1882, in the theory of evolution, he claimed that humans, like other animals, are parasite. Man is an organism having an animalistic behavior that is dependent on other animals for survival. Thus, man kills and steal to live. To Charles Goring's theory, 1870 to 1919, 
the medical officer in prison in England who accepted the Lombroso's challenge that body physique is a determinant to behavior. Goring concluded that there is no such thing a physical chemical type. He contradicted the Lombroso's idea that criminality can be seen through features alone. Nevertheless, Goring accepted that criminals are physically inferior to normal individuals in the sense that criminals tend to be shorter and have less weight than non-criminals. Three Ernest Houghton's theory, 1887 to 1954, an anthropologist who re-examined the work of Goring and found out that tall thin men tend to commit forgery and fraud, undersized men are thieves and burglars, short heavy person commit assault, rape and other sex crimes, whereas mediocre, average, physique flounder around among other crimes. He also contended that criminals are originally inferior, and that crime is the result of the impact of environment. For Adolf Vitellet, 1796-1874, Vitellet was a Belgian statistician who pioneered cartography and the cartographical school of criminology that placed emphasis on social statistics. He discovered, basing on his research, that crimes against persons increased during summer and crimes against property tends to increase during winter. Historical Timeline of the Theories The history of criminology dates back from the works of criminological thinkers or theorists in criminology. The origins of criminology are usually located in the late 18th century writings of those who sought to reform criminal justice and penal systems that they perceived as cruel, inhumane, and arbitrary. These old systems applied the law unequally, were subject to great corruption, and often used torture and the death penalty indiscriminately. Theory Motive Demonology, 5000 BC 1692 AD, Demonic Influence Astrology, 3500 BC 1630 AD, Zodiac Slash Planetary Influence Theology, 1215 BC Present, God's Will Medicine, 3000 BC Present, Natural Illness Education 1642 present, academic underachievement slash bad teachers. Psychiatry, 1795 present, mental illness. Psychoanalysis, 1895 present, subconscious guilt slash defense mechanisms. Classical school of criminology, 1690- free will slash reason slash hedonism. Positive school of criminology, 1840- determinism slash beyond control of individual. Phrenology, 1770 to 1875, bumps on head. Cartography, 1800 present, geographic location slash climate. Mental testing, 1895 present, 
feeble-mindedness slash retardation slash low IQ. Osteopathy, 1892 present, abnormalities of bones or joints. Chiropractics, 1895 present, misalignment of spine slash nerves. Imitation, 1843 to 1905, mind on mind crowd influences. Economics, 1818 present, poverty slash economic need slash consumerism. Case study approach, 1909 present, emotional slash social development. Social work, 1903 present, community slash individual relations. Sociology, 1908 present, social slash environmental factors. Castration, 1907 to 1947, secretion of androgen from testes. Ecology, 1927 present, relation of person with environment. Transsexualism, 1937 to 1969, trapped in body of wrong sex. Psychosurgery, 1935 to 1959, frontal lobe dysfunction slash need lobotomy. Culture conflict, 1938 to 1980, conflict of customs from old country. Differential association, 1939 present, learning from bad companions. Anomie, 1938 present, state of normlessness slash goal means gap. Differential opportunity, 1961 present, absence of legitimate opportunities. Alienation, 1938 to 1975, frustration slash feeling cut off from others. Identity, 1942 to 1980, hostile attitude slash crisis slash sense of sameness. Identification, 1950 to 1955, making heroes out of legendary criminals. Containment, 1961 to 1971, outer temptation slash inner resistance balance. Prisonization, 1940 to 1970, customs and folkways of prison culture. Gang formation, 1927 present, need for acceptance, status, belonging. Behavior modification, 1938 to 1959, reward slash punishment programming. Social defense, 1947 to 1971, soft target slash absence of crime prevention. Guided group interaction, 1958 to 1971, absence of self responsibility slash discussion. Interpersonal maturity, 1965 to 1983 unsocialized, subcultural responses. Sociometry, 1958 to 1969, one's place in group network system. Dysfunctional families, 1958 present, members feed off others neurosis white collar crime 1945 present cutting corners slash bordering on illegal control theory 1961 present 
weak social bonds slash natural predispositions. Strain theory, 1954 present, anger, relative deprivation, inequality. Subcultures, 1955 present, criminal values as normal within group. Labeling theory, 1963 to 1976, self-fulfilling prophecies slash name calling. Neutralization, 1957 to 1990, self-talk, excuses before behavior. Drift, 1964-1984, Sense of Limbo slash Living in Two Worlds. Reference Groups, 1953-1978, Imaginary Support Groups. Operant Conditioning, 1953-1980, Stimuli to Stimuli Contingencies. Reality Therapy, 1965-1975, Failure to Face Reality. Gestalt Therapy, 1969 to 1975 perception of small part of big picture transactional analysis 1961 to 1974 no communication between inner parent adult child Learning Disabilities, 1952-1984, School Failure Slash Relying on Crutch. Biodynamics, 1955-1962, Lack of Harmony with Environment. Nutrition and Diet, 1979 Present, Imbalances in Mineral Slash Vitamin Content. Metabolism, 1950 to 1970, imbalance in metabolic system. Biofeedback, 1974 to 1981, involuntary reactions to stress. Biosocial criminology, 1977 to 1989, environment triggers inherited markers. The new criminology, 1973 to 1983, ruling class oppression. Conflict Criminology, 1969 present, Structural Barriers to Class Interests. Critical Criminology, 1973 present, Segmented Group Formations. Radical Criminology, 1976 present, Inarticulation of Theory Slash Praxis. Left Realism, 1984 present, Working Class Prey on One Another. Criminal Personality, 1976 to 1980, Errors of Thinking. Criminal Pathways Theory, 1979 present, Critical Turning slash Tipping Points in Life Events. Feminism, 1980 present, Patriarchal Power Structures. Low Self Control Theory, 1993 present, Impulsiveness, Sensation Seeking. General Strain Theory, 1994 present, stress, hassles, interpersonal relations. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I hope you enjoyed.
Learn something new about our topic on review notes in criminal sociology, ethics and human relations, part 2. If you learn something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends to also learn about this topic. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos, hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ban YouTube channel.